Hello! Let me tell you how I lost all that way without following any diet. But first, I want to make clear that I'm not a nutritionist and the information in this video is based on my personal experience. If you have any concerns or questions about your health, please consult a professional. So why did I decide to lose weight without going on a diet? Well, I didn't at all. That's the thing. I have uh, spent my whole life since I can remember wanting to lose weight. Not a lot, but you know, those few kilograms um, so I could fit in a smaller size. I was always on the higher end of a healthy weight, which is good, but it, this wasn't about numbers. It was about how I perceived myself and how I felt in myself. So like probably you, I have tried different diets even tried some magic pills. Don't do that. Nothing worked. Well, that's not true. Yes, you lose some weight, but you know what happens. That you get it back again sooner than later. I think that we all know now, at this point, or we should, that that is not the way to go. My humble advice, don't do any diets. If it is classified as a weight loss diet, just run away from it. Worth pointing out that the word diet is different when we talk about broader concept and not weight loss. A diet is what you eat and how you eat it. Important hint. So why at 40 bloody eight and without meaning to, I have accidentally lost the weight I have always wanted to lose? Because I started having issues with my skin and my gut health. And after years of seeing different traditional doctors who only told me they didn't know that was causing me the issues and handed out antibiotics, it wasn't until I did my own research that I went into the holistic approach that I started um, to feel better. I stopped eating gluten and dairy and massively lowered the carbs. No specific diets. Yeah, that sounds like a ketogenic diet, but I don't like labels and I don't follow anything. Just I just did that. Another thing I have done is feeding my soul and hence the soul diet. You know, this is a topic for another day that I'm preparing, but just quickly. Do you know what the Maslow Pyramid is? Well, it is wrong. It is upside down. It places the most important things at the bottom. Those are the needs that Maslow described as basic needs. So in this case, food, shelter, water. According to him, without these things, you cannot go up the next step. What has happened by doing that? Well, we have a population in the Western world that generally end up overindulging and overeating. It's like getting stuck in the ground floor. Food and drink is no longer a basic need, but a way to cover up the lack of fulfillment in most cases. It is being used as instant gratification, alcohol, cakes, cokes, junk food. And then suddenly one day, oh fuck, I need to lose weight. I am obviously being very, very generic and simplistic here. But my point is, you won't get to the top of the pyramid, which is fulfillment ever, because you get lost in the way. If we look at it upside down and you live a life with intention and meaning, then you'll feel fulfilled. And if you are fulfilled, you won't need to cover up anything. When you get to eat, you're not really that interested in the instant gratification, you know, the jam filled donut, because you are already full, if that makes sense, with more fulfilling things than, than make you happy. I'm not trying to get you depressed or anything if you are wanting to lose weight, please. Don't feel that way. In fact, you should be extremely happy that you have found this video. How do you lose weight without a diet? Feed your soul. Get to know yourself. Switch off Netflix and TikTok for a bit and sit and reflect. Write if you like that. Walk if you prefer. Just talk to the ethers. Whatever. Everything is valid. You know, meditate. And let me tell you another quick thing about this. Not everyone can meditate like a monk. I can't. And now, only now, I am happy with that. Until now, I thought that I just can't meditate and never will. I meditate differently because my energy is not that one of calmness and water, my friend. I am fiery and for me, meditating involves movement and mental activity. So when I was writing this script, for example, I was meditating. <laughs> my fingers could not stop typing and the ideas and words came up to my mind in a perfect flow. I was doing something I love and I am passionate about and so I was present. There was nothing else in that moment but writing this story and now telling you. So meditating is the state of flow. So find your flow, find your passion, 
Find your element. If you haven't read that book, it is a good place to start in your weight loss journey. Funny? Yes. I am recommending you a book which is not a diet or a weight loss book precisely to lose weight. Yes, and I'm totally convinced about that. This society we live in and we have created because we have, all of us, is sick. And the main problem is that we don't know ourselves at all and live on autopilot. Living on autopilot is detrimental to one's well-being, both physically and mentally. But that is what the system encourages. Ding. Why don't diets work, miss? Diets don't work in the long term for many people because they tend to focus on temporary restrictions and quick fixes other than making sustainable changes to habits and lifestyle. That's why. So they often involve making drastic changes to your eating habits or drastically reducing the calorie intake and increasing exercise. You know, eat less, move more thingy. These changes can be difficult to maintain for an extended period of time. And when the diet ends, you're more likely to return to the old habits and regain the weight you've lost. If this is not enough, since you are putting yourself down to restrictions and rules that you cannot maintain long term, you know what's going to happen. What happens is that by not meeting your targets or even quitting, you add guilt and feeling of failure to the mix. This fucks up your well-being big time. So the soul diet is the only diet that really works. And I've just made it up, by the way. <laughs> I am not selling a diet or anything. I actually might. Actually. Maybe. In a nutshell, we could describe it as a holistic mind-body-spirit approach to self-improvement and well-being, where the main points are mindfulness and self-awareness which involves being present in the moment and paying attention to your thoughts, feelings, and physical sensations. This can help you to identify patterns or issues that may be preventing you from achieving your goals. An example, if you are rushing through life, trying to balance work, family, kids, money, whatever, you're probably spinning in the hamster wheel or in the fish tank. I love this one. Stop, 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 stop. So you have literally no time to stop and reflect. And you'll never reach a level of awareness and calmness because you're in stress mode all the time. Lifestyle changes. Once you are in a different mindset and on a higher consciousness, changes will come like magic to align your new state with your actions. Example. I used to eat a McDonald's meal once every blue moon. Now I just don't want to. And of course that is not going to kill me. But it feels like I'm hurting myself. So although I'm not saying I will never, ever, ever do it again, it is unlikely. It is not as attractive as it once was. Emotional well-being. One of the main things we were not taught at school, and sadly not at home either because our parents didn't know how, is how to deal with our emotions. Addressing emotional or psychological issues that may be impacting us will make a massive difference in your well-being. Connection to something higher. Finding greater meaning and purpose in life. Honestly, that is what I consider essential. Find your balance and everything else will come. Now, as a more practical and immediate action, <laughs> if you are wanting to lose weight as well, stop eating low sugar, low fat food and drink. They are a scam. Reduce carbs, especially pasta and bread and eliminate gluten. Watch out for gluten-free products. If processed, they are as bad, if not more than the others. <laughs> of course, exercise, but find your element. Again, you might not be an action person or you might not like the gym and that's fine. That's totally good. Maybe for you, walking is your thing or swimming or dancing, whatever, but just move. Forget about what society dictates as normal or common. You are unique, so find what works for you. If you cannot lose weight and you consider you are doing the right things, then it could be your gut health or even your hormones. Look into that. Well, I hope that's been helpful in some way. See you soon.